Hello, I'm Alexei. I have developed several plugins for Kickbox Sonar Digital Audio Workstation. And today I want to show you how you can use Sonar with phone, which can control it remotely. The first you should install on your phone Dodge OSC application. I am not going to show that part. So let's say you have already installed and we continue with installation of my plugin and press set for it. The first thing you should do is close Sonar because otherwise you can get problems installing my plugin. The next you should go to the my site as it's slow.com and download for the moment test version of my asset controller. I download this application that is installer. We can run it. Uh, Windows will warn you it is not signed, it's okay. I have standard license, nothing special but not open source. So now we go to preset section and uh, my post about this preset. Important is to download these two files. We download this paper file that is preset for my plugin. And we download layout for touch SC. These two files should match. So you see the version 1.0 at the moment. If you see later some another version, please download and install both because they should match, they work together. And now I start Sonar again. The plugin is already installed, but we should put it into Sonar configuration. That can be done in preferences, control surfaces. You add new surface, select a Z controller, and select known for input and output. That is important. You can change that after. So if you modify it, import or output to something else, you will not be able to change it. So you then have to remove the plugin again and insert it again. So now the plugin is inserted. You can see it here in panel. If you don't have this panel, you can go into utilities menu and see asset controller here. The next from utilities menu we should install the plugin we have downloaded. We go into Kickwalk plugin manager, click on control surfaces, Z controller and import. We select the file we have downloaded, SPP file. You see there is only one preset in it. So now we can open a Z controller property page and we can select this preset, C phone 1.0. Once here, go into options and see OSC section. You see it is not enabled. We go into configure menu and we enable it. You see important information. We are going to enter into or touch C configuration so your phone can find a Z controller. These two ports are important. That is server port, that is client port, and that is guest name of your PC. I normally use IP addresses. It's time to start our phone and enter this information into it. So when you start touch C, you will get this screen and you need to change OSC parameters. The first field is host. You can enter here what you see in host uh, as a controller configuration. Or if you know the IP address and I know the IP address, you can enter IP address here. I recommend you to fix this IP address to avoid problems with reconnection and such that can be done normally inside your router or inside Windows configuration. Then you see outgoing port. Outgoing port means the server port. Then you see incoming port. Uh, and it is mentioned as client port because the phone is the client for Z controller. 
I have already configured everything and next uh, we should load the layout. I prefer to load it from the editor, the simplest way, so I pressed editor. You again should enter name or IP address. We should start uh, editor. We load the preset, the layout preset we have uh, downloaded before. And then we press sync. And after you see this dialog on the phone, you can press download. And here you should see this OSC phone one zero. We can close the editor. And the, uh, depending on your phone, maybe you should adjust uh, the layout so to move elements so they fit your phone. One important detail here uh, that there are some controls you don't see. So, for example, these text buttons in this application don't have uh, labels, and labels are separate controls. Well, but by default, I want that show anything, so some have uh, information but as it don't. So if you move around controls, uh, don't forget to move these labels, also invisible. They're everywhere. Now we return to Sana. We here click OK. You should see active zero clients in case uh, you see here fail. That is bad. Then it is not going to work. We can press done here. We should see active and one client. We close the configuration now and I open test project with some random data. At, at the end you should see the information from your project. If I now change the focus, you see that that also change current focus here. The next tab is showing many tracks and you see in Sonar Y which is indicating which tracks you have. So short press just move it by one channel also in Y and longer press move it by 16 channels you also can see which channel is current, is in focus in Sonar. The third section is for ICT. You can see the parameters here and you can select the parameter. That's all I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching. Bye.